What's up everybody, it is Joby back here for another same day Q&A session. So today's question is brought to you by RDBR. And dude, thank you again for your questions. Um, next time you post one or reply to one of my comments with your name and I'll give you a shout out that way too. So I don't even have to use your YouTube handle. Um, so he basically asked, what is the ideal balance between carbs, proteins, and fat in a diet to gain weight? Um, and he left some percentages, for example, 50% carbs and 25% protein and fat. Um, so to answer this, I'm going to you know, actually write something up. We're going to put it up on the screen too. But I would stay away from percentages across all macronutrients. Here's the way you really want to start your planning, your starting point to see how many calories you should be taking in. And of those calories, what should your macronutrient content should be? So. We'll start, I'm going to bring up my calculator over here because I will need it in a second. Um, you're going to start with your body weight. You're going to weigh yourself in the morning, right when you wake up, before breakfast, after you go to the bathroom. Let's say that weight comes out to 200 pounds. So you're 200 pounds and you want to see how many calories you need to consume because before you can even talk about macronutrients, your protein, fat, and carbs, you got to have a caloric estimate, a starting point, an educated estimate. That's what we're doing today. So I like to start by taking my weight and multiplying it by 10. So that is 200 times 10, which is 2,000. Now, that is basically what I would need to eat just to, if I didn't even do anything all day, if I just laid in bed. So we need an activity factor. Now, without getting too crazy, 90% of America falls into an activity factor of 1.4, which is basically a moderate activity. They work out a few times a week. Um, so I think I believe the recommendation for this category is five times a week. You know, you're not doing anything super extensive. So I'm going to go with the average right now so we don't get specified into a niche uh, of the population. So I'm going to use that 1.4 activity factor and I'm going to times that 2000 by 1.4. So that gives me 2,800 calories. Now, me personally, I'm gonna, I would start right here. I would just say, you know what? I want to see what this calories, what this caloric intake does for me, for my body type, for my metabolism for the next two weeks. And I'm going to judge that by weighing myself, whether it's in the morning every day and doing a overall, or if it's by the end of the week or the end of the two weeks and see what happens. If I lost too much weight, that's going to be an indicator of some muscle mass loss. So I'm going to up the calories by one to 200, 300. Um, if I'm not gaining any weight, then I'm going to, uh, or if I'm gaining too much weight, too much body fat, I'm going to lower it by a couple hundred. So at first it's really a guessing game, an educated guessing game to see, to try to dial in to your metabolism, which is different than the person sitting next to you. So now we have our caloric intake. So of that 2,800 calories, first I'm going to find my fat. And the way I find fat is I'd start off with about 25% of total calories. So I'm going to take that 2,800 and I'm going to times it by 0.25. That's going to give me 700 calories, which is going to be allocated to fat. And so that would then, there's nine calories per gram of fat. So I'll divide that by nine, right? So that gives me 77. I'm going to round it because who the hell is going to count up to 77.7777 grams of fat? So we're going to round that up, round that down to 75 grams of fat. So now I have my protein. My protein, I like to keep around one to 1.25 grams per pound of body weight. So protein, so that's going to be 200 pounds times 1.25, right? So we got 200 times 1.25, that equals 250 grams, which equals four calories per gram of protein, a thousand calories. So now we're up to 1700 calories, right? The rest is for carbs. Carbs are the one macronutrient really you don't necessarily need. It, you, it's, you know, you kind of do need it, but if you went without it, your body would use fat as energy. The other two, fat and protein, absolutely need. So now we have two, 2,800 calories minus 1,700 calories. Leaves us 1,100 calories for carbs. So carbs, we're left with 1,100 cows, which would equal divided by four, 275 grams of carbs. 
So that is how I would start off my caloric estimates, my macronutrient estimates. And I would work out, I would nail my macros, I would use my fitness pal to track my food as I go and come as close around plus minus 10 for protein and carbs, plus minus five for fat. And then at the end of the week, I would weigh myself just to see what that is doing to my body. So long story short, don't get caught up in percentages. Um, this probably comes out to like a 40, 40, 20 split protein, carbs, fat, it's almost, you know, 250 grams of protein, 275 carbs, close enough to be almost even. Um, but again, I would go this method. Try it out. Let me know what you think. If you need anything else specified in there, comment on this on the video that we're about to upload as an answer to your question, and I'll answer it directly um, via YouTube response. So I hope that helps you out, man. Um, to get started, we got some around on the corner. Everyone's trying to pack on mass or lose that fat. Um, so again. Hope this helps and thank you for your question. So if you like this video, then like the video. If you know anybody who would benefit from this video, share it on their wall in one of the social media places that you use. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, find us on Facebook and Instagram, and start asking me questions. Comment below, email me, joeb at samedayselfness.com. Use me to your advantage. I'm here to help all of our clients and customers. So that being said, gotta leave you off with my signature closing. Stay aesthetic.